welcome to Twisted Dice, back with another battle report today, and something a little bit different. Bit of fun. Yep. Painting hard. Painting hard, Painting yes. Hard. We got Grafting. a channel debut. Channel debut. New army. Be cool. Yes, what are you bringing? Death Watch. Uh, Death Watch. 650. A couple yes. of intercess Primaris Intercessor squads with some aggressors. Boom. Boom. And uh, couldn't finish the rest of the army, so I just packed it out with like a... Some old Italian. <laughs> yeah, got some old. Yeah, got the Strace Marines back. But it, Still need you guys. <laughs> but it kind of works, doesn't it? Because you know, you Death Watch are like your special. You know, they're like the SAS of the Space Marines, aren't Looking they? You know, it, yeah. they kind of bring them in, bring them in hot, and see what they can do. So the Ultramarines are calling for backup because they have a bug infestation in town. So the Nids High Fleet Voro will be representing today. The boys are back in town. Um, I've brought a very combat orientated list that we'll go through in a minute. Um, I'm going to be running at you. I'm going to just be trying to eat you alive. So it should be. You. <laughs> you're going to try and shoot me down. So it's going to be uh, pretty epic. I think it's going to be very, very fun. Quite a lot of flavour to this game. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, we are playing Targets of Opportunity, which basically means that at the beginning of your next turn, if you haven't scored the objective, you discard your hand and draw another three. There is a stratagem which allows you to hang on to one, which is two CPs, which might be of use if there's a very valuable card in your hand that you think you've got a chance to get. Uh, but it does mean you need to try and score your objectives and score them quick. Mm -hmm. So again, should kind of be a very fast paced and pretty frantic game. So let's uh, let's jump into the uh, armies, yeah? Yeah, let's go. Jump in there. Jump. Easy. Jump, jump. 1750 points of debt watch today will be made up of two battalions. So as you can see here, I have my Debt Watch Battalion, which we'll go through in a second, as well as a Space Marine Battalion. Now, I will be taking the Ultramarines Chapter Tactics. This will allow the Space Marines to fall out of combat and then shoot at minus one to hit. Now, if we quickly go through the Ultramarines, if you've seen these guys on the channel before, we have uh, Captain uh, Sicarius as well as a Captain. The body of this army today will be comprised of three units of tactical space marines. So one, two, three. Making up the heavy support choices, I have two units here of devastators, as we can see, armed with four grav cannon. And then I have taken a dedicated transport, um, which is a rhino. Now, moving over to the new kids on the block, um, the debt watch battalion will be made up of two Primaris watch captains. These guys are armed with master crafted um, auto bolt rifles, which are pretty cool. I have taken two relics. I've taken Bane Bolts of Araxia. These are pretty interesting. These are, um, they, they allow you to use these with special issue ammunition. You add one to the damage, um, which is pretty good. And then any wound of a six will be a mortal wound. As you will see as we go through the battle report, I will also be using um, various special rules with the Debt Watch. But the second relic that I've taken is the Tomb of Ectoclades. Now with the Debt Watch, what you have are mission tactics. Mission tactics, you pick certain units at the start of the game and it allows you to reroll ones to wound them, which is pretty handy. But the relic that I'm taking is the Tomb of Ectoclades. This allows me each turn to pick a different mission tactic. Um, and as such, anybody who is around the Primaris Watch Captain will be affected by that bubble, but we will go through it in a little bit more detail. For the Warlord trait, the Primaris Captain here with his finger out, he will be armed with the Lord of Hidden Knowledge. This gives me a re-roll in the game, which is um, pretty handy. Um, on top of that, it also lets me uh, roll when I use a command point um, or command points on a five or a six, I will get one command point back, which is really handy. Now. Obviously, by taking two battalions um, and then with the relics included in the um, in the army, it means that I will start off with um, 12 command points. For the rest of the Death Watch army, um, as you can see, the squads are pretty identical um, of what I have painted so far. So what we have are three units of intercessors. So the units will be made up of six intercessors with auto bolt rifles, and then I'll be taking uh, one aggressor in each squad. What this will allow me to do is it'll allow the unit to move, it'll allow them to advance and fire at full ballistic skill. The other thing that these guys have is they have the ability to, to use special issue ammunition. We'll go through these as we, we go through the turns, we'll explain them a little bit more, but um, this is what the army is going to be built around on as it expands. So 
there we go that is 1750 points of the debt watch with a space marine battalion so this is my 1750 of tyranids i am taking high fleet kraken today which means that i can when i advance i can roll 3d6 take the highest which is nice um, and it means I can come out of combat and recharge, which is also pretty handy for a very combat orientated army. So this is a bit of a fun list. It's definitely not competitive, so don't want anybody thinking that to start off with. It is pretty much fun. Um, it's got a bit of teeth, and if it gets there, it's definitely got the tools to do the job. Um, but it's very much geared around the kind of theme of a very aggressive um, assault orientated list. So the list is a battalion. Um, and it is headed up by three HQs. I have Old One Eye, and Old One Eye, just a really fun unit to use, absolute beast, and nice that he can't be targeted because he is a character under 10 wounds, so pretty, pretty cool there. And I have a Broodlord. A uh, Broodlord's very overpriced in points, but again, a fun unit and very good when you're running Gene Stealers. Um, and then my final HQ slot is filled by the Malanthrope, the ever-reliable Malanthrope, giving that lovely minus one bubble. He will be taking the chameleonic skin uh, artifact, giving him an additional minus one for himself, uh, meaning he will be a minus two to hit because they do stack, which is quite nice. So it'll make him a little bit more survivable, as I know that the Death Watch have tools to target characters. So we don't want that happening. So we're going to put that on him. Going into troops choices, I have two big units of Gene Stealers, one 16 man and one 15 man strong. Uh, these guys hit incredibly hard and because of them being Kraken, they're incredibly fast. I then have two units of four Rippers, Ripper Swarms. They're quite good at just jumping in, grabbing objectives, just being a general nuisance. Then going into my fast support slot, I have the Dimacaron. Um, the Dimacaron, absolute waste of points. Really poor unit, but I absolutely love the model. Again, he is capable of doing a job in combat, and I think running him in Kraken means that he might get there. Um, yeah, and he is a, a absolute vicious unit if he can make combat. I have a feeling he will just get chewed up in shooting, uh, particularly with all that uh, wounding on twos. I can't see him lasting very long, but if he does, you never know, and, and just a cool model to get on the board for you guys. Then moving into heavy support, I have two broods of Carnifexes. I have gone for the Screamer Killer. Again, not the most competitive choice in my mind, but very, very fun. Gives me a little bit of shooting at close range from their plasma, um, but more than anything, it gives them quite a hit in combat. They are, again, very, very vicious. And with the buffs given from old One-Eye, if they get there, they're going to do some work. And then, sort of summing up the list and, and finishing it off, I have a Trigon Prime. Gives me a little bit of an option to bring in some Gene Stealers um, rather than starting them on the board. Just gives me a little bit of versatility. It also gives me potential a bit of synapse range closer up the board if I want to drop him in there so he might be useful again they do tend to die very very quickly I'm lacking in von saves anywhere in this list apart from the gene stealers really uh, but you know he's again if he hits he should hit incredibly hard so my warlord will be old one eye I just think it's it kind of it, it again fits the theme of the army um, and he's a great unit to kind of head up this list fairly survivable with his regening wounds and he will take the warlord trait as well uh, which means after he takes a wound he will then be halving the damage or minusing one of the damage from all the damage from then on in so quite handy to try and make him a little bit more survivable but that is my 1750 points of tyranid high fleet kraken let me introduce you to the board everyone. So today we will be playing on a cityscape board. We will be playing the mission Targets of Opportunity, a Maelstrom mission. Now as you would expect, there are six objectives markers. So you can see down here, we have number six and number one and number two over here. We are missing the number three, but we've just left that as a blank marker over here. And down below here we have a four we have finally over there we have the five so John's decided to set up on the opposite side of the board as you can see the debt watch here have taken aim across the ruins 
and as you would expect any Tierney player with the Malentrope nicely castled up there. So what we're going to do is uh, it's worth mentioning that John obviously got the drop from the Space Marines which was a bit of a surprise so he's got plus one to it so we're going to do um, roll off to see who goes first. So I've got a three. John, first or second? Um, I'm going to go first if I can. Did you want to seize? I did want to seize. I want to take this opportunity see if the Debt Watch are on form today. Oh, they are not. so close. So the missions for Tyranids, turn one, not the greatest of cards. So I have defend objective one, defend objective four and supremacy. So supremacy control three objectives. It's possible. I definitely have the opportunity to do that, which would not be a bad start. Defend objective four. Defend objective four is over by the Space Marines on that side of the board. I can get over there. I am seriously quick but that does mean that I'm right in the jaws of the beast. Defend objective one is in the middle of the board over to this side. So again, in no man's land, not really where I particularly want to be, but again, a possibility of me able to get there. We are playing the FAQ, so I will not be able to drop or deep strike in to that zone. So I'm gonna to have to try and get there. So am I gonna go for all of these? Well, I have to have a think about that and we'll come back at the end of movement. And the Tyranids are out of the gates and moving fast. So we have absolutely stormed across this battlefield. We need to hold some objectives, but ultimately we are cracking. We don't really have any guns at all. So we need to get into these Space Marines and into them quick. So everything in the whole force has advanced. Um, the Demacaron has moved across here to hold that objective. It's jumping across out of the terrain. The Carnifexes, the two Screamer Killers, have come through this gap here. They will be out of range of any charges, so obviously advance was the best move for them. The Malanthrope is trying to keep his web of minus one. It's not really needed for the uh, for the Carnifexes because they have got the Spore Assists, so they're minus one anyway. But I want to make sure that I'm kind of keeping his web as quickly as, as, as wide as possible with that synapse. Um, old One Eye again has moved up. He's just kind of staying down this side. He will be probably a more of a beta strike creature for me today. The uh, Broodlord is come up the back here. I used a command point um, because I needed to re-roll his advance because he got left behind by the Gene Steelers. And even with three D6 for the crack and roll, um, roll really poorly. So I needed to re-roll. Got what I needed, so he's now making sure that he's giving those buffs to those gene stealers at the moment. The other screamer killers come around here to make sure he holds down five as he advances up the board. And a massive 20 inch run because I used the stratagem, the Kraken stratagem, to uh, advance as far as I can up here. And I am in striking distance of these Space Marine units. So, gonna have to make a decision what I want to go in for but ultimately I do need to hold this objective. So I need to go crashing in to one of these units to make sure at the end of this turn, I hold my three objectives for supremacy, which means eating up some of these space marines. So that's gonna be the plan. I have got a very small bit of psychic power, so we'll go into the psychic phase. I just have the Broodlord, and then we'll go and see if we can get these gene stealers in for some early action. Okay, so quickly into the psychic phase, only one psychic power, which is the Broodlord. He has Catalyst. I'm gonna to attempt to manifest that onto my Gene Stealers to try and give them a little bit more of a survivability. Um, so it's a casting value of six. Here we go, let's see if we can get it. I don't get it, I am gonna to need to use a command point here um, because I need this off. So I will use another one. Um, I've already used two. I do get it off on a six. Sean doesn't have any way of stopping it, so uh, we will successfully manifest that. We're in the charge phase and I've just done a bit of measuring up. Now I'll tell you what I wanted to do guys just so you know from a tactical point of view. So these gene stealers what I wanted to do was I wanted to charge into his devastators and um, I wanted to hopefully finish them off or at least get close to it and then at the end I wanted to consolidate into his death watch unit. The main reason why I don't want to attack them even though I have got bag loads of attacks and the opportunity to go through these guys like butter the problem is he has he has very smartly got aggressors in his units of Death Watch. That's an awful lot of Overwatch I'm going to have to eat, which I didn't particularly want to do. Um, even with the Feel No Pain from the Catalyst, my Gene Sealers could come under a bit of pain here. But that's the way we're going to have to go, so we're going to have to try and go into both of them because I cannot get enough space away from his Death Watch to be able to either get enough attacks into his Marines 
and stay clear of his guys. So that's the plan. We're going to try and get lucky here. We're going to have to eat some Overwatch. Um, first of all, let's see if we make that charge. Um, we have worked out I need a five inches to hit the the attack the, the devastators and a six inch to hit the um, death watch. So let's see. Well, I've got a ten, so that's I'm not... easily in, no problem at all. But now we'll see about that Overwatch. So guys, starting off with the overwatch here, we'll start off with the devastators. So we need sixes from the grab cannons. So we've got a few sixes there, just three. Not a bad start. Not a bad little start. And then threes to wound. So we have nope. got no wounds. Moving on, we got the bolters for the space marines. I'll just take that dice out. Uh, one six there, fours to wound, no wounds. Moving on to the aggressor first of all. He's got 24 shots because he stayed still. So we need sixes. A few sixes there. And then I will also get to re-roll some ones. So we've only got two ones. Because you're in range of the watch oh, captain, aren't you? Another one. Yeah, in range of the watch captain. Uh, no sixes there. And then for those, I'm going to still need fours to wound. So... Uh, one, two, three. Okay, and so I have five up in one, first of all. Which I fail all of them. I then have a five up when I pay from Catalyst. Really could do with this. I don't get any, so three gene stealers bite the dust. Frag Assault Launcher, 2d6. Oh, it's big. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's 11. No. Frag Assault Launcher, 11 shots. I need sixes. Rerolling one, so I've managed to get one six. A couple of ones in here. Thought I'd get a few more, but hopefully I can get a six here. Yeah. I managed to get another six. These obviously wound on fours as well, so one more. Right. No, nope. feel no pain. No, another one bites us. That's four stealers down so far. I now have the rest of the intercessors. I have um, six in the squad with um, auto bolt rifles. That's 12 shots, needing sixes. Um, I've only managed one six and I haven't got any others. I will use a two, a hellfire round, so two to wound, one more save. Here we go. No, and for no pain, no, another one. Not made one single save, so that's another one bites dust. And that is all your overwatch, isn't it? That is all of my overwatch. So you have taken down five of my guys. First, we have eight attacks going in to the Devastators. Uh, so we're looking for we're looking for freeze. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, I'd say that's a decent start. Take out those misses, which actually are not that many, which is pretty good. Pretty good. I don't think that's any what? Well, okay, um, and now we're looking for fours to wound. Um, but the magic will come from the sixes where we'll rend on a minus four and he won't get a save. So we need the sixes, um, but let's see how many wounds we can get. Well, I think I've copped for that one. So that will be one, two, three, four, five marines just dead. Yep. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven saves at minus one. Cool. So one, two, three, four. That's enough squad unit. Perfect. So that will first be blood. that will be first blood. Yep. Which is tasty. I then have nine, ten, eleven. So I will have three gene stealers that will now be into your primaris. Mm -hmm. Um so here we go again. Um very nice. Just the two misses. And again, same thing. This would be very nice if we could pling off a couple of these Death Watch guys. So don't get any sixes. In fact, that's a pretty poor roll, guys. We just have the three at minus one. So you'll be on your four up saves here. So one wound. wounds. So not bad. I will take that first blood and we have dispatched the unit. The Space Marines here in the far corner are going to um, advance their three inches. This gives me one, two, three, four attacks from the squad. So hitting on threes, not bad. Wounding on fours. That's right. And I've managed nice. to do two wounds. OK, 
Okay, uh, so five ups. Nice. Ooh, Eventually nice. we get some saves. Moving on to the Primaris Marines, we'll go with the aggressor first. So he gets two attacks, uh, one hits, two's to wound. Uh, we have one save there. Let's see if we can get a save. No, we don't. And then feel no pain. No, nope, that is one brought down. I'll we'll remove one. The rest of the Primaris Marines will strike back now. So with the Sergeant and four other Marines hitting on threes, uh, I get to reroll ones as well. So take away, oh, that's a three that counts as a hit. So that's a pretty good hit. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, fours to wound. Yeah. Cool, so give it a bit of a shake. Uh, not great in the rolls for wounds. So we've got one, two, out. three, four? four wounds. Yeah, so four more saves. Okay, here we go. Well, that's not too bad. So you stick two to start off with, and then we'll see whether we get any on the field of pain. We don't. That is another two that goes down, though. And these gene steers are starting to whittle away. Okay, so end of the assault phase, and what I've done is I've just tried to I've consolidated in at the end of combat. I've tried to wrap as many of these Marines to stop them from falling back, particularly the Ultramarines, because I don't want them falling back and then shooting me. Um, so what I've done is I've kind of wrapped them, and but I haven't had a way to wrap the, the Death Watch, just that they will be able to get out the back of combat. So that will be the end of the Assault phase. And now the end of the turn, I am going to use two CPs um, to auto-pass my morale. I'm well outside of Synapse range, um, and I have lost massive chunk of that unit i don't want to find that i'm losing too many more i want to be a bit more of a nuisance i know that unit is going to fall probably next turn but if i lose another two or three guys if not four guys uh, then he's really going to be able to plow through them pretty quick i want to make it as much of a nuisance as possible so i'm going to auto pass that which will only leave me with three cps left which is pretty brutal stuff three cps left so we have Supremacy, we have scored, and um, we do hold three objectives. We hold one here with the Screamer Killer. The Gene Stealers hold the objective down there, which is number four, and the Demacaron holds objective number two. So that will be D3. We'll see how many we get, and just the one, so not the great start there. Um, as far as defend objective four, the Gene Stealers are on that. I need to hold that till the end of Sean's turn, um, otherwise I won't be able to get that. Defend objective one, well, because of this mission, because you only get to hold the, hold the objectives for one turn, I will lose that next turn and we'll go again. So not a bad start. I would have liked to have got more um, points for the supremacy, but I am running out of CPs, so I don't think I want to spend a CP to see if I get more, more points on that. So we will just put up with that. We've also got first blood as well. So not the worst start. Um, we'll see what happens now as we go into Death Watch, turn one. Moving into Debt Watch turn one, I have pulled three cards. So the first one I have is Secure Objective 6, which, as you will see, is nicely over in my own deployment zone. I have Kingslayer, and this one's going to be a little bit more difficult due to the fact that John has obviously picked Old One-Eye to be his Warlord, and at the minute he is, um, he's got a couple of buffs um, in this particular area to hit him. So that's probably going to be a little bit unachievable. But the next one that I've drawn is No Prisoners. So um, I'm looking forward to that one score, one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed that turn. If I can increase that up to three or five, then that would definitely make things a lot easier. Um, off the bat, probably my fault, left my, my debt watch a little bit too exposed, um, which caught me a little bit off guard but I do have the rest of the army here to potentially push out some punishment and try and take out some of these um, other units. So let's move into my movement turn and I will come back at the end of movement. So let's start off with Debt Watch turn one. Devastator squad here are standing still and they're kind of taking aim at some of the monstrous creatures charging across the board. I have put up a little bit of a screen. I want to just try and prevent getting uh, hit again and um, so what I've done is I've moved the rhino up slightly uh, on top of the objective and we have managed to get the space marines out here so hopefully I can put a few wounds on the car and effects but um, that's with rapid fire still pretty strong and um, thanks to the aggressors I've been able to move in advance so this unit here moved 
a good 10 inches and um, obviously the aggressor only moves five inches so you've got to remember that when you're moving these models and um, not too difficult though this unit here sadly they fell to one so they're not going to move too far but i have managed to pull them from the front of this building away from the gene stealers um, on this side i haven't pulled the um, debt watch out of combat um, from the gene stealers I, I may lose this squad as well as the the space marines but we're going to hold them in combat there hopefully i can whittle down a few more and then the space marines can do um, some work so i have i have quite a few command points and um, let's go move, move into the shooting phase see what we can do so starting off with the death watch turn one this squad here is going to fire at the demicorn and um, obviously i've got my grab cannon so uh, i have 16 shots hitting on threes so only a few have missed not too bad obviously it would have been nicer if i got a few more Unfortunately, I now need fives and sixes to do any runs. So of that, we've got a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. Still nasty, really nasty. Because um, I only get a six up save against seven wounds, you say. Yeah. So I only get a six up save. I have a three up save normally. This is minus three because it's grabbed. And these will be doing a potential of D3 damage each. Okay, so I get two saves, which means five go through, so you'll get five D3s. How much damage? Okay, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wounds through. He has 14 wounds start, he has three left. Scary stuff, guys. I'm going to fire the Rhino into Demacor and see if I can do some more wounds. So that's going to be two shots. Um, Miss with one, hit with one, five and a six for a wound, no wounds. So moving across to shooting, I am going to use uh, two command points to activate the uh, Melius Doctrine, which allows me to add one to wound uh, for this Death Watch squad down here. So on a five or a six, I will get that back. Uh, I've managed to get that one command point back, which is pretty handy. This Death Watch unit here is going to fire into the closest Carnifex. Um, obviously, these are auto bolt rifles, so they're assault weapons, but I am going to use the Vengeance rounds, which drops the range down to 18. Now, all of the squad are in range to hit. So, with this Carnifex, it's going to be minus one to hit, so they're now moving up to fours. But because they're obviously within range uh, of the Watch Captain, that lets me reroll ones. So, um, I'll roll them down here. Uh, oh, a couple of ones there. Cool. And hit some terrain. So we take out the ones, twos, and threes, which actually pretty good. is pretty effective. Yeah, pretty now, good. Typically, this will be fives to wound, but because we've activated that doctrine, it's now going to be fours. fours. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And re rolling ones because of my battle tactic to okay. wound, yep. wound heavy creatures. So we have some two ones. So we've managed to cause, um, not as many as you like, but we've managed to cause. Three wounds. Three wounds. Okay. Yep. Um, and this minus is now three. minus three, so I just get a six up save. Actually, minus two. Minus two. Yep. Okay, so I get a five up save. Which I make none, so three wounds go through. Moving on to the aggressor, he is going to fire his shot, so he's forced to hit, correct? Yep. Cool, so let's take out the threes, which are quite a few of. We roll in ones. Uh, we roll in ones, so not bad. Not too bad. Again, I need fives and sixes. Yeah, uh, uh, no. yeah, no, you need fours because they're on the same units. They've got the same stratagem on them, which again looks pretty decent. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, five saves. Five saves. These don't have any minus to them, do they? No, nope, so no minus. These are just standard three ups. Uh, so I drop two more. Um, so that brings me down to three wounds on that Carnifex. Finally, the aggressor is going to get D6 um, auto assault launchers, is it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So I've rolled a four, not too bad. Fours to hit. Re rolling ones. Three hit, not too bad. That's good. Fours, fours to wound. Uh, re rolling ones. Uh, so one more save. Okay, uh, so th normal save. Three up. And I make it a six. It. Space Marine squad here, tactical squad, jumped out of the Rhino. They've moved straight forward to the Carnifex. They want to <laughs> unload some lead. They've been sitting in the Rhino, scratching the bolters, holding the triggers. So, 20 shots into the Carnifex. Let's see if we can get rid of the last three wounds. 
Four. So it's not not with rolls no like rolls. that. So taking out all the ones, twos, and threes. I'll, take, I'll take that. That's not bad. That's actually. I mean, if I can even do four, four wins, I'd be happy with five and sixes. Uh, just the one. Okay. So just three up. Save. Here we go. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Made, he Shakes it, it off. No problems. Those spore assists to give him the minus one, helping a bit. Moving on, we've got these guys down at the bottom right of the screen. They're going to fire into the Carnifex. Now, they've only got 10 shots, but they are beside Captain Sicarius. So, re-rolling ones, but... Twos are not what you want, is it, really? Not really. No. There you go. That's a, it's definitely a message home. Ooh, just the two hits. No, I've got three there. Got three. three hits. Five. Fives and sixes. That'll do. Cool. Three saves, sir. So that's one. enough to kill him if I fail all of these, but I'm not going to. Oh. He's down to one wound. <laughs> ah, good boys. Final unit of debt watch to shoot is this squad down here. Um, I am going to split the attacks. I'm going to put four into the current effects. I'm going to put three into the Demacaron. So what we'll do is we'll do the current effects first. So it's one, two, three, four. Firing the auto bolters. I'm going to use Hellfire rounds, wounded on twos. So I do re-roll one. So I have hit with a majority of the squad. I'm actually quite happy with that. Yeah, it's decent. That is decent. Now, twos to wound, re-rolling ones. And that is going to be yeah. quite handy. Tasty. So one, two, three, four, five, six saves to make on the crown effects for his last wound. And uh, minus one. Uh, no, minuses no minuses on these ones, no. Okay, so here we go. So all I need is three ups and he laughs it off. But unfortunately, there are two misses there. So come on point, we'll not even do it. Uh, that is it. I will have a quick check to see if he does explode. If he does, no, he doesn't. So that will just be a dead conflict. And finally, the next three debt watch, they will fire at the Demacaron. Um, and I do, I do re-roll one, so that's not ideal. But again, we are firing Hellfire shots. So there are three twos to wound, re-rolling ones. Don't re-roll ones. Oh yes, because they're fast, so two wounds. Just two wounds, so it's not enough to kill him. Um, so threes, and we get one save, one fail. So he goes down to two wounds remaining. Finally, moving on to the fight phase for the debt watch. I'm going to spend a command point to debt to the alien. Um, this is an interesting stratagem. It allows me, for every six I roll to hit, it allows me an extra attack with that weapon. Now, the only thing that uh, you need for this is as long as you're not attacking an Imperium, Chaos, or unaligned um, uh, unit, uh, then you can get this off. So I'm going, to, I'm going to spend that command point. I am going to roll to see if I get it back on a five or a six. I do get it back. <sighs> So, so far my uh, my rolls have been good so fair. far. It's not fair, I won that. Three so I'll be hitting fair. you on threes. These are the Primaris and the Sergeant. Hit so, threes. So threes and uh, any sixes. So I do get an extra. So that's be two, two extra attacks. Cool. And then take out the ones and twos. That's not too bad, is it? Yeah, it's good. Good. You do two win. extra attacks then. You still have to do those attacks. You don't, they don't land automatically. So you just still do two extra attacks. Uh, so one hits, one so one hits, goes out. Yes. Perfect. Um, and now you're looking for fours. That looks decent. Not too bad. Take out those misses. Still looks like six to me. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's enough to definitely do some hurt. So we still have Catalyst in effect. So we're looking for five ups first of all, which we get just the one. And then we need five ups again. It'd be nice to get a few more in there. We get one more, so four Gene Stealers die. Next in the unit is the Aggressor. So I need fours to hit with this because it's minus one. Um, can I get any sixes? So one hit. And two to wound. wound. Decent wound. Uh, five. No, um, it's actually D3 damage. So you need to roll damage first to see how many after saves I get. So it's actually two I need to make to save one. I don't, so another one dies. Leave me with just the three remaining. How many have I killed that turn? Five now. So it'd be me next. Um, I am going to... I only have three attacks now, P, so I only have three left. 
We're going to go straight into the death watch looking for threes. Uh, that's good, very good. Um, and now we're looking for fours, but ideally we want those sixes to try and bring these guys down. Get one six, so that would be one loses a wound. I think one had already lost yeah, one, so, so one dies. Yeah. And then you need to give me four minus one saves. So these will be four ups. And that will be another one is dragged down and one is on one wound. So we'll have to take that. Not too bad. Not too bad. And, and then finally, so now see whether you can pile in. Three inch now, pile in. So yeah, you will definitely get into combat. Av, one, two, three, four, four. So four more attacks. Whether one of them is your sergeant. One, two, three, four more attacks. Is one of them your sergeant? Uh, no. Okay, so just four, four more attacks. Uh, hit on three, so that's three hits. And now win on fours. Two so that's two points. more. And make uh, one that's of seven. the saves. One is brought down. I'm going to spend three CP to uh, attack again. So can I get my mine back? I don't. But I do get to attack back. So that brings me now down to ten. seven. Ten? It's three, isn't it? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, so it seven. Be seven. So yeah. um, sergeant, and then I'll have one, two, three attacks back. Will my original stratagem on them still work? Uh, yes, yeah. it's the fight phase. So yeah. So three stings with one six there. Reroll. I don't get to reroll ones. So take out the ones no, and twos, but, but you do get to roll attack. one. Should do hit with. And then it'll be fours to wound. Yep. Yeah. So uh, three. one, two, three saves. Okay, so we whack them in there, and one or two gets through, and he, uh, they're both dead. Yeah, cool. and that kills the unit. To recap points for Debt Watch and the Ultramarines, I have managed to secure Objective 6, which the Rhino and Debt Watch are on, so that's one point. Um, I do have no prisoners, so I have managed to kill two units. Just two, yeah. Um, unfortunately, uh, didn't manage to take down the uh, Demacoron. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, it was close. Demacaron or <laughs> Dave for short sure works Dave. for me. Yeah. Um, so I get one point for that. Um, I yeah. just realised that I would have scored. If you killed him, you would have got yeah. D three. That would have been nice. But I'm on. I didn't get first blood, so I'm on two now. So it's two piece. Yeah. Um, I Kingslayer. A little bit difficult at this moment in time. But it is worth mentioning that I have stopped John um, scoring Defend Objective 4 simply because um, I did manage to wipe out the Gene Steelers, which yeah. was pretty brutal. And that would have been two points as well. So that would have been quite a nice swing. So that, that was quite key for you to do that, I think. Yeah. So there we are. That's, uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. Let's move into Tyranids turn two. So moving into turn two for Tyranids, uh, we've pulled three new cards had to get rid of my two defend objective cards. Uh, one, the Space Marines took away from me. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping I could get away with that, but the Gene Steelers were dispatched, and the other objective I just wasn't close enough to. So my three new cards, I have Devour, which is basically another kill something in the assault phase, which I quite like. It really suits my army. I have Blood and Guts, which again, funny enough, is kill something in the fight phase. And I have Secure Objective 6. And objective 6 is where Sean's big old rhino is sitting. Um, so not so ideal there. So that one's almost certainly not gonna happen. But I have a good feeling that potentially I might be able to pull both Devour and Blood and Guts. Both of them have options to get additional points as well if I can kill multiple units. So seeing that I want to get an Assault anyway, they seem to suit me, they seem to suit the Hive Mind. So let's go into Tyranid turn two. Talk to me John, talk to me. What are you going to do? Okay, so we're at the end of the movement phase, more or less. Um, but what I am going to do is I am going to regenerate D3 mortal wounds using the stratagem, the Dimacaron. He's currently on two wounds, and it'd be quite nice if I could get him up off his worst bracket. So anything um, but a one or a two? Yeah, so that's what I'm asking. Anything but, Sean. 
Oh, it's a six. So that's three. That brings him up to five, which is a lot nicer. What I have also done in my movement phase is I've also used a stratagem again um, for the Kraken Optimistic Advance, I think I believe it's called, um, to make sure that my Broodlord has zipped forward. He has got round Sean's little screen and he is eyeing up an opportunity to charge in against those Prime Amaris. Tried rings. my best. It's just the way that base is. It's nice and slim in some some ways skid it round <laughs> so so that's the end of my movement i have also brought in the um the trigon prime and the gene stealers as an escort and um, everything else has moved in place and uh yeah and and all the other guys have moved up to try and make sure that we can engage as many of these ultramarines as possible we're going to keep the ripper swarms back well, hopefully I can dive in and maybe grab some, some cheeky objectives in turn three. But we'll now go into the psychic phase. Um, and I'll tell you what, guys, we're just going to literally fly it straight off. That's how we like to do things. So I'm just, I only have one power, so I am going to fire it straight off. So it's the Broodlord. He is going to cast um, Catalyst onto himself. Um, so again, I need six. Let's see where we can get it off. We can't. I am going to use my last CP. This will be me all out. And I do get it off. So I do get my catalyst. That is me clean out of CPs. And we'll now go into the shooting phase. Okay, so we're into shooting phase. Not much shooting for the Tyrians, but we have now got in range to use a bit of my bioplasma from the Screamer Killers. So we've got first Screamer Killer here. He is going to target the Primaris Death Watch up in the ruins. So this is D6. There's no option to, over, to overcharge yet, but we'll see how many we get. Just the one. That's not what we wanted. Strength 7, so I need 3. Why don't you use a command point? I don't have any command points left, thank you very much, Sean. Sure. <laughs> so I do get one. Um, this is minus four, so Sean, whoa. You're in ruins, so you have got yeah. two up, so you'll be on a six up save. Cool. Which nope. you don't get, so one wound down. It is only one damage, so that will be him. We'll okay, so we're now Trigon Prime, a little bit more shooting. Um, we are going to shoot into the... Um, Oh, I'm just trying to think actually. Ooh. I'm going to have a little bit of a think about this, guys. Two seconds. There's got to be nine to charge in there anyway, isn't it? It's not that. It's whether I could hit the uh, guys in the back rather than them. Cool. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm not going to shoot it. You're just going to leave it? I'm not going to shoot it. The reason why I don't want to shoot it is because what Sean could do is obviously I want to try and make some multiple charges over here. Yeah. Um, if I kill the first couple, it's going to make it almost impossible for my guys to get in combat against his marines. Uh, I don't want to do that, so we'll try and make sure the odds are a bit more in my favour to make that charge. So with that, that will be the end of the shooting, and we will now go into the charge phase. Um, he's going to shoot into the. He's going to charge into those guys. Cool. So um, let's see. If it, so he has got adrenal glands, so he will need an eight rather than a nine. Um, no command points left though guys, so uh, this it is what it is, and that will not be enough. Um, so you do get to overwatch me. Marines overwatching the uh, Trigon. Uh, Trigon Prime, yeah. Trigon Prime. So sixes, just the two sixes. Six couple. And then five and sixes. Yep. Um, no wounds. Okay. What would you like to do next, sir? Um, you so let me know what you want to do. I will, do. I, I will let you know. So the next, what I'm going to do is, I'm, this Screamer Killer is going to charge into the same unit. Yeah. Um, looks like we again will need a nine inch. Okay. Uh, yeah, nine inch. So let's see if we can get it. Big roll. He gets it. I do get it. So he will go crunching in. So he's going to stop taking a gene stealer with him. I'm going to stop. An inch away there, cool. um, and then we'll go straight into the uh, gene stealers now. Um, do you have you done your overwatch on him? Do yeah, have you have overwatch. Him? So, so do your overwatch first. Save again, just in case you manage to kill him. Uh, no sixes, nice and quick. Gene stealers needing a nine inch charge. Go away, Let's gene stealers. See whether we can make it, we cannot. Gene yes. stealers do not make it. You'll probably do enough with that one card effects alone because you've got those. Talons, isn't well, he? Well, he might do okay. Um, so now we're going to try and rush through the fire. This is painful last time, and I feel it's been painful again. And the big man himself, the Brood Lord, is going to charge in against the Primaris Death, Death Watch Marines. So starting off with the uh, aggressor, we've done some sixes. So that's three sixes. Nice. 
he is tough to five, so you will need fives to wound him. Mm. Fives and sixes. Uh, which is going to be two wounds. Two wounds. Okay, so I have... Um, I'm just going to quickly double check because he might have a slightly better save. He does have a four up, and this is AP dash, so he'll have a four up first of all. So four up, he makes one, and then he has a thorn of pain five up because he did get it off. He does lose a wound. D6 okay. from the assault rockets, four. Okay. You need more of these aggressors. Uh, no sixes there. No sixes. And then finally, the squad. We're looking at eight more Overwatch attacks. And um, we do have a couple of sixes, four sixes, using obviously Hellfire rounds. Nice, nice. It's not too looking bad. Looking for twos then. Yeah. And so that's can, three. I can't, yeah, can't re-roll it, so it's three. So needing fours, first of all. Just get the one, and then needing fives. Really need to try and pick one of these out. I don't, so he has only got three wounds left. He has six, so he's lost three wounds in the overwatch, which is quite painful. John's going for a big charge with two dice. Needs a three, double one will leave him out. Stranger things have happened. Well, I did say, sort of just off camera, that I did nominate the Marines as well. So if I do get a double one, I can still go into the Space Marines. But yeah, the Primaris are where I need to get. So let's see if we can make it. Oh, you're well We do then. make it, no problem at all. Out, show me what you're doing. Right, okay, so next up, we have got the first Screamer Killer here. He is gonna try and charge into these Marines here. Um, got quite a bit of Overwatch coming in. Uh, no sixes, Archie, uh, you've, you've got, got two. You've got a couple sixes there, and they need fives. Uh, you do one. stick one. Um, I have my three up save, which I do not make, so I do drop a wound. Um, now we'll see whether we can make that charge. Um, really only probably looking for about four inches, which I make on four. a seven. Yeah. Um, so we will go here. Mm-hmm. I'm now going to try and do the same with old one eye. He wants to come in, he wants a piece of the action. And he looks like he will make it as well. So he's on a seven inches. We'll quickly measure that out. I wanna make sure that I'm not, not. yeah, he easily makes it. Cool. So old one eye's gonna come smashing in as well, which is great. We then will go for the Dimacaron. So the Dimacaron is going to, um, I'm going to activate a charge against the same unit as well, but I'm also going to see if I can potentially get in on the Rhino. So do you want to do Storm Bolters? Uh, nothing. So nothing? Okay, so... Um, are you within 12, though? You probably are. Um, You're charging so two more. Yes, I am. Must be within 12, of course. Uh, not. So, we'll see what we can make out. I believe I need about an 8 inches to get into the Marines. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Do you want to have a look, look for a Sean? Do the, ma do the magic. We'll do it for you live, guys, and let you know. So into that. Uh, he's gonna need a nine. He nine, and then the Marines. Uh, the Marines is probably more important for Marines me. Marines is gonna be, I'd say an inch out would be a six. A six, okay. So we only really need a six, we nine this, which is what we get. So we get a six, um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this here. Yep. Um, and then we'll do some cheeky shenanigans by spinning my base and engaging the Rhino. Uh, of course we can't, we cannot, um, in fact, we nominated it as a charge, so we can actually pile into it, even though we did not make it with the initial charge, because of three inches, just by turning my base, I still make the Marines my closest target, but I will be within an inch of the Rhino to be able to strike it. So, going into the assault phase, we've got quite a few few assaults here. Um, I expect Sean potentially might interrupt, see whether he can do a little bit of interfering, particularly on the Broodlord, because he's taken some heavy damage. So we're going to start with the Broodlord. Seems like the smart move. Um, you call that tactics, Sean? Mm -hmm. That's tactics. Yeah. Um, so I have six <laughs> attacks. I'm hitting on twos. No ones. Don't say that. <laughs> there will not be any ones. No, which there isn't. August. Um, I now will be, I'm strength five against your toughness of four, yep. so I'm winning on threes, yep. but the brood god has monstrous rending claws, which means I can re-roll failed wounds. <laughs> so I get them all. Now the interesting one here is these two here are yep. minus six yep. and three damage each. So, so they will two pull gone. down two guys, absolutely. Okay. Yep. So two will just die. Yep. Now you have four saves at minus three, so they will be sixes, yep. and each one of them does D3 wounds. Cool. So he makes one, so three go through. So we'll do these separately, because it's important. Yep. So the first one yep. does does two wounds, yep. so that will kill one. Yep. Yep. 
The second one does three wounds. Yeah. So that this will kill is a big one. one. And then the third one does three wounds, which kills the aggressor. And that is what the Broodlord is capable of, guys. Ooh. Absolute beast. Um, and he will then pile into those Marines there. Yeah. And do you want to interrupt? I sure. do. You do. Okay. So what do you want to interrupt with? The Marines. Which ones? All of them. All of them. Which Just ones? These, these ones here, here and the Broodlord. Fine. Okay. So obviously... Do you want to get my command point back? Uh, no, I don't. He doesn't get his command point back, but now he's going to see whether he can have some revenge on the Broodlord. So they're going to pile in. So ten shots. Yeah, ten attacks. Uh, hitting on... Do you get one extra one from his from your sergeant? sergeant? So yeah. that will be eleven in all. So cool. you're hitting on threes. Okay, that's good. Really good. Um, you are now, though, wounding on fives. Because I am toughness five against your strength of four. Yeah. But I only have three wounds left. It is possible. Oh, that'll do. We do it, and it's that strong. is pretty hot. So, in all, that looks like six. Is that six? Uh, do I five. Five. Yeah, five. Five. Okay. So we have five wounds to say with three room, 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 three wounds. Get my words out. Excitement building. Um. So we need fours here. Yep. Okay. So he does live because that's two. Yep. Now we need five ups for his catalysts. Oh, so he saves them, them all. Them. So the Broodlord, what a boss. Absolutely like a boss. Okay. You okay? So, we'll now, we might as well, he's done your interrupt now, so we, the kind of, the pressure's off. We'll now go on to the Screamer Killer, and it's actually one of the first times I've used these guys, so I'm just going to have double check on how many attacks he has. So I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so, Screamer Killer, quite nasty. So let, here we go. So we have five attacks, we have an additional attack for the talons because I have two sets of talons. Um, first of all, before we do anything, I did finish com I did finish my charge phase within an inch of the enemy. So on four plus, I do a mortal wound and kill a marine straight away, which I do. So one marine is popped off straight from his living battering ram. I then have my five attacks. Because I charged, I am hitting on threes rather than fours. Um, and I get three hits, and I can reroll ones because of monstrous scything talents, but I got twos. I'm now strength six against the Marine's toughness of four, so I need threes. I get two, they are minus three, so you will get a six up save. So oh, two Marines good. are pulled down. Okay. Okay, so next up, we're going for some more Carnifix goodness. So um, we're going to go with the Screamer Killer first of all. He's charged in, so let's see if I take one take one mortal wound on the battle, living battering ram. I do, so one marine is brought down just from a mortal wound. We'll then see how we can do in combat. He is with old one eye, so old one eye gives him plus one, um, plus one a hit. So let's see how he does. So hitting on twos now. But of course I get two ones. Now I can re-roll these because I have the monstrous scything talons. Okay, so I convert all five of them. And now, don't take them off yet, Sean, you've got your sixes. And then I need threes to wound you, which I convert four. So you have four saves of sixes. None, unfortunately. None. Okay. Four. That's four brought down. So we'll now go on to old one eye. So old one eye, he has five attacks mm -hmm. as base. He he will be. I'm going to use his talons because I'm not against a big target. Yep. So um, I'm just going to go with the talons. It kind of makes sense. So we go with five attacks. Yep. And I'll be rerolling ones, hitting on twos, rerolling ones. So that's all hit, and I'm now going to be looking for threes. And I get them all, so that again is going to be five sixes. Sean, see whether you can survive. None. No, and that is five. And what I'll also yes. do is quickly, is that the unit? Yeah. Okay, I see whether I've got my, my liver in battle ram. I didn't, but anyway. So that is the unit destroyed. A one eye has struck, and the ultramarines are seriously feeling the pain of this Kraken Tyranid hit. 
Okay, so the Dimacaron is now going to be hitting in against the Rhino, so I have five attacks. I'm now hitting on threes. Uh, I am quite degraded, but not on the bottom tier anymore. Okay, so all hit. Okay, and now I'm looking for threes. So I get just the three. Um, this is minus three, so you get your sixes. These will be D3 each. You made one, so two, three... Three threes, so that will be three wounds off the rhino. The rhino's going to attack back. Um, well, I've managed to. Yeah, don't dismiss the rhino strength, at your peril. Strength six. So fours. Fours. Uh, double one. <laughs> double one. That'll do the trick. That will do the trick. So the end of quite a brutal turn for the Tyranids, but not as good as it could have been. So. As far as what we've scored, we have dispatched two units, so we will score both Devour and Blood and Guts, but in both cases we will not score any additional points because we did not kill three. We needed to kill one extra. We didn't take enough of the Marines away really in the first unit, even though we did try. So that's that. Secure Objective 6 is where the Rhino is. I'm guessing that uh, Sean will not leave it there for the Dimacaron to just smash again for another turn. <laughs> and ultimately has loads of marines around that, so I will not be able to hold that. But I am going to score two points, and I am very much in Sean's lines, so we'll see what happens in Death Watch, turn two. I've decided to spend two command points to keep Kingslayer, because old One-Eye is over here, and I do feel that I could potentially put some damage on him. Now this turn, if I can pull this off, I will make some serious command points. Um, I've managed to pull priority target, which again will be one eye. If I can kill him, I'll get D3 victory points because he is a monster as well. And I score one victory point at the end of the turn if I control the objective mark that was closest to the enemy warlord, which is where the rhino is going to be over here. Um, finally, I have defend objective three, which is going to be incredibly difficult. Seems that it is over here. Um, and there are plenty of gene stealers around and unfortunately the space marines over here are not faring too well so um, potentially this turn if I can um, if I can take the unit down wo old one eye is not looking too safe and I could potentially wrap this game up in one turn so let's see what happens for the debt watch and the ultramarines not a huge amount here I've moved a primaris watch captain over here and then I've moved the following uh, across I have um, moved the Rhino away six inches from the Dermacaron and as the Ultramarines allow me to I have fallen back um, and hope to shoot the Broodlord with a minus one to their hits. So that's that's pretty much the movement phase. Let's go into the shooting for the Death Watch combined with Ultramarines. Sakaran so is going to fire into the Demacorn. Hits on a two. Supercharging. Supercharging. And ones. I have a two. Oh. Cool. So he's strength eight. What's your toughness? As you we freeze because I'm okay, top three's six. to wound. Yeah, I've got a five. I don't get a save, so he loses two wounds. So I'm down to three wounds remaining. Moving on, we're gonna fire the ultramarines here into the Demacorn. And he's got three wounds left. He's probably the easiest to hit at the moment. Um, I am obviously within six inches of Sicarius and the Watch Captain. Uh, or sorry, not the Watch Captain, the, the Captain. So they'll obviously buff me to hit, so let's give it a roll. I get to re-roll ones. Plenty of ones here. So we're hitting on threes. You're stealing my dice again. I am stealing your dice, John. Uh, and take out the ones and twos. Oh, they're solid. That's not too bad. I do need fives and sixes, though, to... You do? There's a lot of fives and sixes in there to hit. Okay. Grab these up. Okay. And he survived. If I can survive this, that really looks good for me. Fives and sixes? Need to do. Need to survive. Oh, it. John. Like it's only do. two wounds. Okay, so I definitely will survive it. I only need to free up to pass these saves, so of course I will do that like that. Amazing. Here Storm Bolter from the Rhino. Four, yeah, shot. four shots. Hitting on threes. Yeah. And then fives and sixes. Can I get any? No, nope. not at all. So this is where I think the Death Watch are going to come into their own. I'm going to use the Venator Stratagem, um, which allows me to add one to wound on fast attack. But uh, I'm going to roll to see if I get it back. And a five or a six, uh, so I don't. So that costs two. Now, what it means, though, is I can use the Vengeance Rounds into the Demacaron. Demacaron. So that's going to be one... 
two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna split the, the attack. So I'm gonna fire the Debt Watch Marines into the Demacaron, and then I'm gonna fire the Aggressor, and I'm gonna double tap him into the... Can't fix. Scream Killer. Ooh, interesting. Do I want to put him into the stream, stream, Screamer Killer? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go for this to hit. So I need threes to hit with the Death Watch. Rerolling ones. So it's not too bad. And take out the twos. Now, I need fours to wound. You do. And these will be minus three. Yeah. Cool. So come on, fours. Don't let me down. So I managed to do one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So and, six is. Uh, yeah. So I can't re-roll them because currently it's warlords and super heavies that I've used my doctrine on. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So I need him sixes. He hasn't got seventeen wounds. He has three <laughs> wounds. Um, let's see if I can pull off a small miracle. Let's have a look. No, I don't. So the Demacaron goes. Um, so actually looking at it, he doesn't have the death throws um, unless I'm missing it. So he does not explode anyway. Um, so he will just be dead and that does eventually take him out. He's done actually much better than I expected him to. He's soaked up quite a lot of fire. But now let's see where the Carnifex can weather the storm. Moving on to the aggressor now into the Carnifex. Fours to hit. Fours to hit because of the spore spine, spore but assists. I, but I re-roll ones, correct? You do. But I lose twos. So you lose twos. Cool. So, and you lose threes. Lose threes as well? Yes, because you're hitting on fours. So you only reroll ones. Okay, cool. So, and then twos as well? Yes, yeah, so you lose twos, you just get to reroll ones. Cool. So there you go, so you've got, oh, so you've got four ones there. Cool, I'll move them to one side. So that's bad. a pretty good hit rate so far. Cool. Uh, converts another one, which cool. is not too bad. That's a Pretty good. So fives and sixes. Fives and sixes needed, but that's that's a good but start. But then I re-roll ones to wound. If from, you're on heavy yes. from the watch tactics, yeah. So I've got heavies, yes. warlord and and that's obviously because of the relic. Yes. Let's be clear about that. Yes. Okay. So cool. needed fives and sixes. Doesn't look like you got very lucky there though. That so looks like just a three. Just three so far. Okay. Hang on. Gonna re-roll the ones. Uh, so four saves. Okay. Uh, so three ups, uh, do drop two wounds, that's unfortunate. So that will drop him down to six wounds remaining. What's up next? Uh, the next one is the assault launcher, so 2d6, Okay. Uh, which is going to be six. Okay. So again, need fours. fours. Rerolling ones. Uh, Rerolling the ones. Cool, so I've managed to get three. Fives. Fives and sixes. Three rolling ones. So I've managed to do wow. three. Wow, that's not bad going. So again, looking for threes. Drops another one. He's down to five wounds. Okay. So that's the end of that unit. That, that unit. I think I might put... What's going to work better on the on all one eye? It's probably going to be the grab, isn't it? Threes Grab's to... the most dangerous weapon you've got. Yeah. So the the thing is, can I can I wipe this guy? I can't even target one eye yet. No. Until cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire from this watch captain down here. He has the bane bolts of Araxia, and um, what these do, any sixes to wound would be mortal wounds, and um, on top of any special issue ammunition. So I'll fire the hellfire round. So threes to hit, re-rolling ones. So we got two hits, twos to wound. Um, but obviously six will be a mortal wound. So we've done two wounds, minus one AP, because it's a Mastercrafted Bolter. So I need fours to get through. So that's good going. So that brings him down to just the three wounds remaining. The Mastercrafted Bolt Rifle actually does two damage. So the Carnifex is now down to two wounds. What one we're gonna wound. Only one, one wound. wound. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to fire the next... Um, Primaris Watch Captain, he gets two shots. So he hits on threes, which both hit. Hellfire rounds again, so twos to wound. And I've managed to do two wounds. So if he fails this, then the current effects is gone and we have a chance to shoot the whole. So we're gonna spend some command points here 
Uh, I'm going to use the stratagem that lets me um, target synaptic severance. So I spent two command points. And um, to get one back. Can I get one back? No. So I'm down to three. Yeah. But this allows me to target um, a, 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 a synaptic, a synaptic creature. creature. <laughs> a synaptic but that, creature. Yeah, that yeah. would make sense. That's right. um, so I'm going to put uh, uh, Hellfire shots into the Malantro yeah. from the Death Watch, and then I'm going to put the Aggressor shots double tap into the Carnifex. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're putting Hellfire shots into the Malantro, and then we move on to the Aggressor and the Carnifex. So first of all, um, I'm going to need... So you're going to need fives, because basically, so he's minus one normally, but yeah. because he has the Relic, which is the key, uh, Chameleonic Skin, yeah. which does stack. So because of that, he is minus two to hit him. So you will need fives to hit him. Cool. So we've managed to get do, 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 two hits and then discard. You, yeah, rerolling ones. Re so you can reroll those two. Needing fives. Cool. Get one more. Do, 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 do. And then twos to win. You need twos. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And then I'm going to use this. I'm going to use my free roll, uh, re-roll. Yeah, from okay. my warlord. Yeah, go for it. Um, which I get. So three saves to make. And then minus one, I believe, right? Because they're both minus one. Yeah, minus one. So I'm on Actually, six. Actually, no, no. Just normal saves. They're normal saves. So I get yeah. five ups. Then yeah. so three five ups. No, so three wounds go down. He does start with nine wounds, so it only really barely scratches him. But there we go. And what we'll do is we'll also spend another stratagem, um, yeah. shooting the Carnifex plus one to wound heavy. Um, support. So roll to see if I get okay. that back. Uh, I do. Okay, nice. Not too bad. So uh, fours to hit. Okay. With re rolls of ones. Nice. Cool. So take out all those twos and threes. And then it'll be fours to wound. Mm hmm. Cool. So fours to wound, re rolling ones. Yep, because of the mission tactics. Is it fours to wound, not fives? Uh, no, because we your monstrous cre creature. Yeah. One. Yep, fair enough. So cool. what? No, I've I've put it up plus one to wound. Yep. So it's the average is five, correct? Yeah. Yep. Normally five. Yeah. Yeah, and then reroll ones. So I've managed to put. It's quite a few saves. So we only need to do one. You um. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine saves. Normal saves. Normal saves. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, nine. Easy, all threes. No, fails by three and goes down. Um, doesn't lash out, he just dies. So what we're gonna do finally is we're gonna fire this graph squad here into old one eye. Um, four shots a piece, hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a few ones there, it's not ideal. It's not good. Are we in six inches? We're in six inches of Tigiris, we are. So we get to re-roll the ones. Or not Tigiris, it's Sicarius. Sicarius. Cool. So that's made a difference. That's much better. Much, much, better. much better. Three extra hits there, that's well worth that. Cool. Now, um, now you're gonna need fives. Fives and sixes. Really can do not too many here. Uh, one, two, not... three, four. Four? Just the four, yeah. Minus and, three. And have I got enough command points to re-roll one? Uh, you can do if you like. You have, you... Yeah, because you've got yours back, so you've not gone back anymore. So you've three CPs, so you do have three CPs and you've not spent a re-roll in this turn. So let's, have a go. let's see roll if get a see, five. See if I get it back first of all. I he don't. doesn't get it back. It's down to two. And Does he get a five. five? No, he doesn't. I should have thrown that dice away. So four saves. Needing sixes though, but every six will be really crucial with that D3 on each. Oh, and what a boss. Oh, why? Wow. Shrugs off two. So you just take two D3. I have the maximum, six. which will take him down quite considerably. He did come in fresh. He has nine wounds, so he is down to three. Oh, so that hurt him quite a bit. He will regen, which is tasty, um, but that's still a big blow. 
Two shots from the bolters into a one eye. Um, one hit. Re roll them. Them once, yeah, absolutely. Two, Two hits. hits. Five, Five zero six. Uh, Does one convert wound. one. Free up from a one eye. He's so Ultramarines uh, hitting on fours down here yep. against the Broodlord. Uh, no re rolls. Because they broke back from combat. Pretty much, but not too bad. So that's decent. That's a decent roll. Yeah, so you need fives. Fives and sixes. Uh, just the one. Okay, um, so I have four up save on the Broodlord, yeah. which he makes it easy. Shrugs it off, no problem. He's no not problem scared. at all. He's getting ready to eat some more Marines. He just about is. Cool, so charges first of all. Uh, let's do Debt Watch, this squad here. So we've worked it out, we need a 10 inch charge. Which no. is not enough. Do I spend? Do you spend? So you have need just a six, a two though. left. You do need a six. Let's Probably go. Not the right thing to do. Captain Sicarius. Okay. It looks like he will probably need about a nine. I'm guessing. Oh, he's not going to need a nine. He'll need an eight to get it within an inch of you. He'll need an eight. Yeah, I'll give you an eight. Ooh. Oh. That's a cocked. We'll do that one again. Oh, he's got an eight. He's got an eight. He is in. And the Marines with him? Yeah. Uh, they got a four. I think they might be in still. They only need to be within one three inch. inches of him. Three inches of one eye? No, well, no, actually, no, because it looks like they're actually further out than that. No, they will... F what did you get? A four? I'll give you that. Go on. Get him in there. Get him in there. You must want to kill this guy. <laughs> you must want to kill <laughs> him pretty it's bad. It's a big swing, this guy. So if Sean gets it, he will get Kingslayer. He will also get his priority orders. So this is big. Old one I needs to now see whether he can do the business. So he is a, it is a phase down. So now all damage is minus one. So Captain Sakaris. He hits on twos, re-roll ones. Oh. One re-roll of a one there. One re-roll of a one. Cool. Now this is the hard bit, guys, because he needs fives now. Fives he and needs sixes. fives and sixes. Sixes he really wants. Oh, he's got a six. He gets the one six, which is what he really needs. Do I re-roll? Do I spend one command point? Well, yeah. Do you want to see what that does anyway? Do you want to yeah. see how many how many mortal wounds that does? Because this is D three mortal wounds. He's it is three. enough. It does kill a one eye oh, without any worries at all. Who's seen that moment coming? Again, the old one eye does not lash out, but that's a huge swing. Okay. Victory points at the end of the turn. Defend objective three is pretty much gone. Um, I have managed to score dominate, so that's going to be one point. With priority target, old one eye was a monster, so I do get to roll. So let's see how many points I get. I only get the one. Rolling John's dice for this, terrible. And then I've also got Kingslayer. I'm John, not, another I'm, one. I'm not rolling another your one. dice, done. Another one. I'm not. Come I'm on, going over one. here. Give me a one. Oh, Thank you. One. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and I've got Slay the Warlord. Yeah. So this turn, I've scored one, two, three, four. This is unfortunate. <laughs> this point here could have been the difference between, you know, me taking the game away, but we're still in it. So let's carry on and see how we get on. Okay, so the missions in turn three for the Tyranids had a pretty rough turn. Actually, the Marines have really struck back, dispatching some of the big guys. But what we've got is we've got Secure Objective 3, we have Area Denial, and we have Terrify. So Secure Objective 3 is currently being held by all the Gene Stealers and the Trigon Prime, so that will be mine. We have Terrify, which is make something fail a morale check. And that's possible. My Marines are pretty stoic and they don't like running away. So it won't be as easy um, and we'll have to see how we get on. Area Denial, however, is another quids in, but there is a but. So basically, if you have no enemy units within six inches of the centre of the board, you score a victory point. If there are no enemies within 12 inches of the centre of the board, you get D3. So we just had a quick look. And right here in the middle, where that dice is, is the centre of the board. Currently there is no enemy units within six, but just within 12 are those first three marines there. So if I can clear that marine squad off, then potentially I can take D3, which is big. So we've got a two point deficit to build up and to get back. We've still got some threats on the board. Let's see what we can do as we go into turn three for the Tyranids. Of the movement phase, 
um, and we've done a bit of shuffling. So what we need to do is obviously we've got to carry on trying to dispatch the new Marines as possible, because if uh, if Sean has another good turn, he might put me out of range of of the objectives. But I think I have the strength that I can maybe table him. We'll have to wait and see. I need a few things to go my way. So the Manifrope has advanced. He's actually not too bad in combat, but ultimately he gives a very nice buff if he can be close when a unit's finished off, giving a army-wide um, reroll ones, which is nice. The Broodlord got a flaw in his advance, so he's in a good charging distance of those Marines, but no rerolls remaining is definitely a risk there. The Gene Steelers have moved up, they did move very quickly, they've got options there. I'm just thinking that they're probably outside of 12, but they've got the chance to go in there. The Screamer Killer's moved up on those Marines, and so has the Trigon Prime. We've dropped in our two other reserves, this is, this is turn three, so they've got to come in. Um, so. The Rippers have jumped down there onto Objective 3 to make sure they hold that. And then the far unit of Rippers is right into these ruins, making sure that he, they are hidden out of line of sight. So we will have the Psychic Phase. And for the Psychic Phase, I think there is no other option to do apart from the same thing that we've done every turn, is go Catalyst, and we will go Catalyst on the Broodlord. So let's see if we can get that off. We do get it off. So the Broodlord has got his Feel No Pain again. He's only got three wounds left, so that hopefully should be quite handy. And we will now go into the shooting phase. Okay, so we're in the shooting phase. As always, it's pretty short and sweet with Tyranids um, when you're going all out assault, as we are today. But we'll start off with the Carnifix of Screamer Killer. He's going to do this Bioplasma. It's not been very good so far, but let's see if we can get it this right. So D6 shots. The one again, oh. doomed. Um, so hitting on fours, does hit. Um, wounding on threes, does wound, does kill. One straight green, up. straight up dead. Nothing you can do about that. We'll then go in to the Trigon Prime. He is going to try and shoot into the same target. Yep. So he needs fours. And not too shabby. These are strength five. Yep. So winning on threes. She's winning on threes. Okay, so we normal saves, but that is six saves to make, sir. Uh, two down. Drops another two. Okay. Mm. Okay, not too bad. We'll take that. And that is the end of the assault phase, of the uh, shooting <laughs> phase. He wishes it was the assault phase. Um, and, and yeah, so right, so we're going to go into some charges now. Um, let's start off with the one that's kind of almost certain, or definitely certain. We'll go Carnifex into your Marines. So do you yep. want to um, overwatch me with your three Marines? So one, two, three, four, five, six. No, uh, one six. At all. Um, he is definitely in, but yep. he will go. I think I'm going to bring him to here. Yep. Um, and we'll just do it quickly now because it should be done now. So to see whether I um, do the mortal wound, I do. So one dies. Cool. Uh, then we now we'll do the. Um, we're going to have gene stealers next. So, Gene Steelers are going to have to be in the same squad. Um, let me just very briefly, I think I'm hoping, wishing on a dream. But, no, I tell you what. They can make it. Yeah, they can. On a, on a, ten, no, on an 11. They can't make it on a, on a 10. They can make it on an 11. So, I'm going to go for it. So, I'm going to multi-charge. I'm going to go for, in fact, is it worth, let's... Let's. Mm, no, they won't be in. So because of the terrain, they won't be. But we will go with. We'll go a multi charge into those marines, and we'll go into the the big unit of marines. We won't be charging Sakara. He's out of range. Cool. So do you want to do your? So these guys are locked so in. They locked in. So they can't do anything. So you've just got your other guys. I'm guessing these are now. Well, they will be in rapid fire range because if I can charge them and I'm on a on the eleven, then they will be in rapid fire range. So, quite a lot of shots coming in, um, Ooh, and that's is. a bag full of sixes as well. Nice. Okay, you rolling that again? Because that must be again, because that must be rapid fire oh, range, yeah. isn't it? So uh, no, roll ones because of Sakarian. Okay, so we're rolling them. No, no, because there's only two. 
these oh, okay. two are wooden. Oh, okay, fair enough. Right, fair so enough. re-roll so the ones those. because... Oh, wow, not bad. So is that five in all? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Uh, four to wound. You need four to wound, yeah, absolutely. That's not bad. That's decent, so that's four wounds. Yeah. Okay, so five ups. Oh, you've made some decent uh, ones. We've made two, so two drop. But that's not too bad. So we'll take two off the back there. Yep. And then we'll see where we can make the charge. I need an 11 inches. Not going to happen. And there are no re-rolls. I have no way of doing that. But they will go into these Marines here. So, I mean, this should be a pretty much a non-event. We'll chuck a few in there. The Trigon Prime, just to try and slingshot. We'll also charge into those Marines. Four inches. I he's not gonna be in, is he? think he's probably going to be out. Uh, no, just be out, won't it? Just out. Yeah, they should do the work though. It's not that I just want to slingshot him if I can get in. Um, if he's in, he's in. If he's not in, you tell me. Am I within an inch? I think I'm probably just outside an inch. Just outside. Fair enough. So the Trigon won't make it. Um, now it's got a difficult decision because I have to decide whether I take the, the Manaphrope in first or do I take the Broodlord in first. I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is we will go the, uh, I'm going to go the Malanthrope first. So the Malanthrope is going to charge in. I'm also going to nominate the Sakaran as a charge as well. So you can have a go at him as well. Let's see how we get on here. Don't really want the Malanthrope to take many wounds, but the Broodlaw is more essential that he gets in. Because he's the one that really should clean up quite a lot of that unit. Um, the other option I have with the Broodlord is potentially bringing him up here into the Primus Death Watch. Let's see. Okay, so you get three there, which is not bad. So re roll one, another one there. I think yep. there's another one. Is there oh, one yeah, more another one, one there. No. So no, it's just three hits. Fours or fives to wound? Uh, you need fives to wound the Broodlord. Uh, two wounds. And you get two. Okay. So I need fours. Yep. Which I fail one, and then I have a five up, which I don't. So he does. Oh, not sorry. It's not. This is not brood law. This is the Malanthrope. Yeah. So I saved one. So I would lose one wound. So I am down to five. Um, Sakarian's so plasma pistol. Yes. Now can I overcharge this? You can overcharge it. Absolutely. But I'll only die on a one. On a one. With a reroll. You with a reroll. Oh, he hits. He does hit. Okay. Two's to wound. Two's to wound, yeah. Yeah. Takes two wounds. Nothing I can do about that at all, guys. So that's pretty tasty. So that'll bring him down to three Double six! So yeah, so Karen is not messing around. He he's is, been on form this game. He's taking skulls. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so the Malanthrope, yeah, he's very much in. Um, Who's he in with? Both of them? I can go where I want. Yeah. Um, I think we will go around. I think we're gonna go here. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Yeah. I don't really want to hit it. I don't. Now I've lost those extra wounds. I think with five wounds, I would have been happy to potentially soak it up a little bit. Yeah. But without the with with, with being just three wounds left and Sakara being a bit of a beat stick at the moment, I think it's a bit of a risk. So. Last up, Broodlord, the big one. Mm -hmm. So the Broodlord is going to, again, I'm going to nominate, just in case I go crazy, I am going to nominate Sakara as well. I mean, he's he's not, yeah, he is engaged. Yeah. Um, so we'll just see whether I can make it. Here we go. Need this now, really need this. And like a boss, we make it without any trouble at all. So, now this is an interesting one. I quite like the idea. No, you have to move as if... Because he has to move around his own guy. He has to move around his own guy. Okay. I'm thinking potentially I could go through there. I've got options. No, we'll look. Let's, let's have a look at this. So mm -hmm. I've got 10 inches. Yep. So, oh. I think I've just knocked a car and gun off which is wonderful so i have got plenty of room to get around there yeah. without any trouble at all cool. so i will go round, and i'm gonna try and eat this guy he has cool. been the bane so i'm gonna try and kill him so you basically brought him a gun for no reason 
I broke the gun for no reason, exactly. So we come back at the start of the assault phase. Now I've adjusted things slightly. So even though I could bring the Broodlord right around the Malanthrope and engage Sakaran, and yet my chances are I probably cut his head off. Um, the Broodlord is a particular menace in combat. And that was tempting. And that was my initial gut reaction. But I have area denial. I also have terrify. I want to try it and put some pain on these marines because that's going to be the better move so i'm going to have to go combine combine forces with the malanthrope and the broodlord to clear out those marines and what i don't want is i do not want sakaran then taking all those hits even if he dies stopping me from having a chance to get that so the broodlord has gone into the marines it's the better move to make so i am going to attack them i'm going to start off with the broodlord so he hits on twos. He converts them all. Oh. He wounds on threes and yep. he re-rolls. Give me some low ones. Give me ones and twos. Oh, not a single one or a two. Oh. And he can re-roll that because yep. he re-rolls. Monster Trinian Claws. Yes. He does fail one. That one is a marine well, dead. Just all dead aren't they? No, they're not because yeah. it's minus three, so you get sixes. So one's dead. Yeah. So one is just dead, and then you have four saves of a six. Clear the hospital landing pad. Some sixes coming in. No sixes. <laughs> so that is five guys die in all. Okay, cool. So we're going from the back. Of course, because that is the sensible move to make. So the Malanthrope is going to now pile in over here. Yep. Yeah. I've made sure, guys, that I'm three inches away from Sakaran because after deciding he wasn't a target, I need to make sure that I'm not going to give him the option of piling in heroic intervention and causing me grief. So I'm not going to do that. So we'll go on to the Malanthrope. Um, I'm just going to check his attacks. I believe it's four, mm -hmm. but we'll just double check it. Um, so let's have a quick look. And the Malanthrope has... Malanthrope has four attacks. He doesn't hits. degrade, does he? He doesn't degrade. He hits on fours. Mm -hmm. uh, he is minus one and he's D3 damage, um, which is quite nice. Okay, so here we go. So, first of all, I need the fours. Mm -hmm. And we'll take that. So, that's three. I like those. Um, and then we are, we are only strength four, believe it or not. So, we do need fours. Okay. But oh, we mate. convert four, which is exactly what we needed. So now you will be at minus one. Minus one to my safe. So four ups. Oh, so no, that is on. another four marines drop. Okay. So what we also have is we have the toxic miasma. Yeah. Now we do that at the end of the uh, of the fight phase, but mm -hmm. for ease, we'll just do it now. Yeah. So on a four plus, um, any enemy unit within one inches of him takes a mortal wound. Do so I get to consolidate three in? So um, four inches, wouldn't I? Sorry, you won't. So you, I'm not on, on your guy. It's just yeah. just your guys that are within one inch. So your guy won't be able. Your Sakaran won't yeah. be involved in this. Okay. It's just you guys. So no. Don't take any more mortal wounds. That will be that. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm then going to go in to the next part of combat. Unless you want to interrupt with your marines. No. You don't. Okay, fine. No worries. Well, let's fly straight on into the next bit, which will yeah. be... Let's go in with the Screamer Killer. Yep. Now, I did do his mortal wound already, so we'll just go straight into his five attacks, because he should be able to kill those guys on his own, fingers yep. crossed. So, he needs threes because he's a charge. He does reroll ones. So, we'll take that, and then he will need threes. So they're dead. So, well, no, they're not dead because, again, they sixes. do have a save of six. So they do have a four? save of so four, save of six. Nope. They do die. So do that die. is the Marines gone. Do, do. So that will be that. Cool. Um, so, my friend, you have a morale check. Two command me. points. I thought you might do that. Will I get Will I get it back? Uh, no, I don't. Don't get it back. 
but that was leaves me on that one. was good because that will mean that Sean and we can pretty much go straight into this guys so from the objective cards I will secure my objective three I will get area denial but he is within 12 because she wants taken so off to right place so I will just get the one point for that and terrify again because he also passed again he denies me that so brutal stuff but I will score two points which again will put me back in the game on a draw as we go into turn three for the Space Marines. Maelstrom cards for a debt watch in Space Marines, turn three. I've pulled hold of the line. Um, it's going to be particularly hard with the Ripper Swarm in the top right corner there and the Karn effects. It's going to be a hard one, um, even with my own units there um, to secure my own deployment zone. Secure objective three again, as we can see, just here to the right is three, which is quite a vast distance away from where my marines are so that's not um that's definitely not ideal but airy denial with the um with the malanthrope as well as the brood lord is something that potentially i could secure so let's see how i get on this turn and then uh, we'll jump into movement so movement this turn for the space marines and debt watch the um intercessors here with this aggressor have moved and advanced to give them a firing corridor down here on the Tyranids. The other Death Watch unit have uh, advanced forward as I wanted to get the aggressor. I could have st stood still um, to get some overwatch there, but I just thought it best to, to start kind of getting up there and thinning out the Gene Stealers. Uh, Sakarin has, um, he's got to move about an inch. We're just going to keep him there nicely there between uh, both of them to give him some options and um, both characters. Uh, and then obviously the space marines here have fallen back just to do a little bit of shooting as well as moving the, the rhino forward here from its position which was around here just in case I want to kind of try and get into the enemy deployment zone or, or catch some um, catch some objective markers as there's a two and a one hidden in there. So that's the movement turn for the debt watch. Shooting for the debt watch, what we're going to do is we're going to fire the grav amps into the malanthrope. Um, five's to hit. Yeah, chameleonic skin. But re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. So we've managed to do a few hits. Not bad effort. Not a bad effort. Okay, but we are missing one quite a few. Yeah. So re-rolling the ones. I get one more hit. That's not bad. That's because of obviously I have a captain who's kind of moved around here. Fives and sixes to wound. And fours. I think you're strength five. Aren't yeah, you? I'm strength so, five. So yeah, they fours. So we've done Just one, two, three, and that will be minus three. Minus three. Minus three. That does kill him. There's nothing I can do about that. There is no other way I can save him. He is dead. I'm afraid. Okay. Pretty lucky shooting there, but there we go. The man on front does bite the dust. Moving on then to the Broodlord here. Uh, Skarin is going to fire his plasma pistol. I'm going to overcharge it. Okay, so, where's the one? Uh, That's what one. we want. I've Another one again, kills him. I've got a five. <sighs> so Squeaky bum time there, Sean. Squeaky that bum really time. wasn't too worried. He's been a boss this game. What does he need? Yes. Um, uh, so, to uh, not twos to wound, threes to wound. Threes to wound. I've managed a four. Does wound. Reliable as ever. And so I have a five of him, which I do not make. It is two damage, so I have two Ferno Pain saves, which I do not make, which leaves him on one wound. The uh, Broodlord is not looking too well. The uh, Space Marines. Uh, the two Space Ooh. Marines, yeah. I might hold on to the Space Marines because they might be able to do. So we have a, we have a, a Watch mm -hmm. Captain with the uh, Bane Bolts. Okay. I'm going to fire them. So twos to hit. Uh, I have two hits. Yep. I'm going to use Hellfire Rounds. Okay. Uh, any six is a mortal wound. A mortal wound. And that is all it, all it takes. But I do get my after save against it. I do have a reroll one. You go oh, no, I don't. Sorry. No, I, not, I like. not to win. Not to um, win. So on a five or six, yep. the Lord ignores it. Let's have a five or six. It's a one, the opposite from what we need. So the Broodlord is taken down. Brutal stuff. On to the Debt Watch uh, Intercessor Squad. This is where they really come into their, their own. With the Hellfire shots and obviously using Assault Bolters, um, I could get three guys in range, which would obviously wound on twos. Um, but if I use the Kraken shot, which is six inches minus one, um, it allows the whole squad to then get in range. So threes to hit, 
Remember, we are within um, we are within six inches of a watch uh, a Primaris watch captain. So threes to hit, re-rolling ones. Um, so two ones to re-roll, um, and I'll take that out. So I've managed to hit with that's three, six, nine shots. Toughness four, four. So fours, fours to, wound. to wound. Yeah. So I've managed to do. Not too bad. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Minus one. Doesn't matter. So in one save. Yep. Five up in one. So gene sealers. Can we do it? Come on. That's wow. not too bad. So two die. Um, nothing I can do about that. Didn't two expect are that. brought down. Um, and I think let's take, let's take a couple from the back. This debt watch unit here, which is within six inches of the Primaris watch captain. He has the relic that allows him to pick a unit. Um, on this turn, it will be mission tactics for troops. So it'll allow them to, uh, it'll allow them one, reroll ones for wounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the aggressor first because he's further back and we don't want John to take them from the front uh, and then lose them. So they got 12 shots, um, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. That's not too bad, John. Oh, take those two out. And then fours to wound. It is, yeah, absolutely. That's really good. That's really good. So one more missed. No, no, unfortunately, no ones. Um, so that'd be six saves. Yeah. Again, we need another really good save like we did before. Be very nice. We stick another two, but four are pulled down. So slowly but surely, we are pulling the guys down. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now the do the the assault. Launcher fires the frag assault launcher. Yeah, is that within range? Obviously, it's an 18, it's 18 inch, range. inch range, so I presume it will be. We'll double check it. Yeah, you've got plenty of range, there. no worries. Only two shots, just two shots. Look like two hits, double six, and then fours, fours to wound. One wound, so. five up. No, pulls another one down. Now, we're going to use the Hellfire rounds. I think it'll be worthwhile doing it. This twos to wound. So threes to hit, re-rolling ones, twos to wound. And then rolling, re-rolling ones for the Hellfire rounds. So, um, we roll that again. So we've missed with two. Twos to wound on these, re-rolling ones. So hopefully, way to fire. Oh, let's roll the one up there, John. Um, so we, they've all wounds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well I have six guys left, looking for five, just need to stick a few here, that's what we want to see, come on. Wow. That's not too bad. That's really good. That will be enough to, because that is only four drop, leaving me two remaining. Did not expect that, John. That. that was incredible, some really good saves there. Not too shabby, not too shabby. That's pretty much all the shooting that I have from the unit this turn. Mm -hmm. um, that I'm not going to do any charges. That concludes my turn. But the question is, mm -hmm. um, obviously, is that a synapse creature? It is a synapse creature, so, my friend. So no. we're going nowhere. So that means we are going to deny you for your D3. <laughs> because that bad. seems the right thing to do. It does seem like the right thing to do. But, but that was pretty, pretty I, think, I think the interesting part here is the, the debt watch with their special issue ammunition, they want another six inches, they can choose it. If they want a wound mm -hmm. on twos, yeah. You know, that's um yeah, that's absolutely been pretty, pretty decent absolutely. so far. Um so you fail to score hold the line. Sure. Uh, you don't score objective three, Didn't but think you it will <laughs> get one for your area of denial, taking you up to seven to six going into turn four for the Tyranids. After a testing turn for the Tyranids, we have drawn our new objectives. So we have secure objective six which is unfortunately right in the mix where all the Marines are clustering in the far corner over, over here. Um, so there is absolutely nothing I can do about that. I have priority orders, which priority orders need to be scored from your Warlord. My Warlord is long gone. So as much as we do house rule it here that if you cannot score an objective, you do re redraw. Because I have had the opportunity to do that, and Sean has very rightly so taken out my uh, my warlord, then there's no way I can score that. So that's fine. And then defend three, which is my saving grace. Defend three pops up again, and that is where 
the Rippers are. So we have got the opportunity to score that, and because it is a defend, it is worth two points. So not to be sneered at. I think we're up against it now, guys. Wish us luck as we go into turn four for the Tyranids. So end of quite a quick but a very cagey Tyranid movement phase. So I am running out of units now. It's turned quite rapidly over the last turn. Sean had a very, very hot shooting phase in his last turn, um, which meant he's dispatched a big chunk of the Tyranid army, particularly losing the fast moving gene stealers was a real blow. Uh, I didn't expect to take as much damage on them as I did, um, but because he dispatched my characters so quickly, he was able to put a lot of firepower into them. But there you go, that's how these things go. So what have I done? So the gene stealers that were down here have got a massive six inch for their advance. They have dashed behind those ruins. Now why am I doing that? Because he can no longer see me, so I can charge him and avoid overwatch. Now, to be fair, he does have a nasty, nasty aggressor in there who will potentially just see me off as well as just mash attacks from the rest of the guys. But if I can manage to hang on in there and avoid dying, I will be able to hold those guys in combat. That will stop me from being shot at, which I think will help me. The Carnivex has moved over this side. Even with a run, I'm just basically standing in the wind, ready to take the full onslaught from every bit of shooting. That's just not worthwhile, that's ridiculous. So I've moved a little bit closer, so I can potentially pounce next turn. Of course he's a monstrous creature, he can't go into ruins, so I can't do anything with those guys up there. I just have to hang around and wait for his turn to pounce. Over here, the Trigon Prime has moved back. I kind of, I could have hidden him, but just in case um, Sean can dispatch the Rippers, I want to make sure that I am going to hold that objective, as that is really the only way I'm going to score this turn, having the uh, two points for defending that objective. So having the Trigon there means one, those Rippers are not going anywhere if he doesn't kill them, and if he does, the Trigon Prime will still take that objective. And I think 12 wounds on the Trigon Prime will put most things out of range of him he will be okay and then hidden in these ruins are my final rippers now they are just in range to hold this objective here and the reason why I want to do that is just in case again Sean draws that objective next turn I don't want him to be able to easily run over there and get that um, that would be silly so I want to make it a bit harder for him so those rippers are going to hold that objective that's about all I can do um, I'm just hoping for a little bit of a miracle and my gene stealers can hold up these guys. If they can do that, then actually I could be in for a little bit of luck. So we'll see what happens. We'll go, there's no shooting, I have nothing to shoot, so we'll go straight into the assault phase. Okay, and let's just roll with it now because actually there is no point at all in us hanging around. Those gene stealers are right by them, so I'm just gonna roll. I can't I can't miss, he can't overwatch me. Uh, so I get six inches, that's absolutely fine, I can walk straight through ruins, I will tie him up. They will charge in, I will attack you first, Yeah. so we'll see whether we can cause any damage. It's uh, be a very swift one, so we'll just stick this on steady cam for you guys. So I have six attacks, just the two guys left. Um, I hit with the four, missing the two ones. Um, we are looking ideally for those sixes to pull these guys down. Um, but otherwise, anything from a four out will be nice. So no sixes, and in fact, only one wound at minus one. Should be easy. No, no he does take a wound, but there's no damage done to that unit before, so that, that will just be one guy who takes a wound. So where are they now? Are they out here? So, yes, yeah, so they'll just come to that. They go straight through that wall, because they're infantry, so they can move straight through ruins. So they'll be that side of you, just there. Perfect. Same one here? Yeah, go for it. So what you'll be able to now is attack me. So can back. I go? Yeah, you won't be able to move anyone that's in base, that'd be those two, but you'll get, I think you'll get everybody in. Let's say you get everybody in. Cool, because again, you can move through ruins as well. So with a three inch um, pile in, you should be fine. Two attacks. Um, so you get two attacks each and three for your sergeant. So let's see, he should pull these down, but I think it was worth the effort. And if we can get away with it, then happy days. Reroll ones to hit because you, of the... You do, yes you do, absolutely. So, so that's a decent threes. roll, that's a decent roll. 
That should be enough, I think. And then fours. Um, and then fours. Absolutely. So, come on, we need him to whiff here. And I did whiff. Uh, yes, he has whiffed. I oh, think sorry. that so is only... One, two, three, four. Four. I'll tell you what, though, that's, that's probably enough. That's probably enough. In fact, and as fate may have it, I have four dice in my hand. Needing those magical fives, I could just get one to five. That could be huge. Here we go. And no, there is nothing I can do. They are pulled down. That does kill the unit. And then Sean will be able to consolidate three inches. Oh, oh. Yeah, roll. This isn't <laughs> seventh edition anymore. Seven. Um, anyway, so yeah, so that will be the end of my turn. I won't score any points this turn. There is nothing I can do. I just need to hold defend until the end of Sean's turn. And we'll now go into turn four. Four. The Space Marines. De watch the tactical objective cards we've drawn this turn. Secure objective four, which is down here, is going to be incredibly difficult to do. We do have overwhelming firepower, so score one victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the shooting phase. Should be able to do that, depending on what I choose. Potentially one of these Ripper Swarms. And then defend objective one. So this is over here in the corner, um, so we might look at getting um, the captain to move across that way. We also have the aggressors who can move as well as advance, so I don't know, we'll, we'll have a look at it. So let's jump into the movement phase. Unfortunately the cards I've drawn have made it really difficult this turn to kind of pull off what I want to do. Um, I am going to use um, Hellfire Rounds from the Debt Watch here. So hit one fours. Alright. Yeah, yeah, minus one for spur assists. Cool. One more miss there. And then twos to wound. So we're looking at five saves. Four okay. saves. Do you not get your reroll one for your um, against heavies? I'm not in. In your. Oh yeah, I do actually. Because it's in your thingy, so the two of them. So one, one extra, so five, yeah? Five saves. Okay. Uh, so looking for freeze. Oh, I'll make and them I all. I do make them all. Four. So that's not too bad. And that will be the end of my turn. Okay, so you don't score any of them? So no points. Let's um, get that. But you will get defend potentially next turn. There's not much I can do about that. Yeah, cool. But turn five for the Tyranids. Not the best cards. But we're going to have to make do with what we got. We did just score two points for holding objective three in, in Sean's turn. So that's good because that does give me a lead of eight victory points to seven. But I know that Sean will definitely get another two because I cannot take him off his defend objective. So that will give him a swing, which will put him in the lead. He also does, you know, he's going to get a um, line breaker, so will I. So it's going to be, it'll probably be on what he draws in turn five. May well be the difference between a draw or a loss or a win. So it's going to come to the wire. But what we have got is we've got advance. Now advance we can get because we have nothing in our deployment zone. Swarm, we need to take, we need to have more objectives than Sean. We're not going to be able to do that because he is holding more and we cannot take him off him. And big game hunter... We need to call the Rhino, and the Rhino is a long, long way away from where we need to be. So, out of that is just going to be advanced. There's nothing I can do, but what I have to try and do now is try and stop Sean from scoring points. So how we do that, we'll have to have a look. So we'll go and have some movement, see what shenanigans I can pull off, and we'll come back at the end of the movement. So end of movement, um, I've tried to be as sneaky as I can. So the Trigon Prime and the uh, Rippers have kind of run, they've run over this way. Trigon Prime is hiding behind this building. I've checked line of sight and I don't think there's very much that's going to be able to hit him or see him. He will be able to get these guys down and put some work into him, but then he's got the options of both the Carnifex and that. And if he comes down from the ruins, you know, then potentially the Carnifex is going to eat him alive. So we'll see what happens there. The Rippers, again, I'm giving him options there. But I don't think he's got enough firepower to take out the Rippers and that won't be a problem there. So we're kind of just ready to pounce because if, we get, if I get something like kill a unit, I want to make sure that next turn I can do some work if it goes to turn six. I have to play for that end game. The Rippers are staying where they are. They are holding that objective four. I am holding this objective five. So again, I'm just kind of biding my time, seeing what happens in the last turn. Um, I'm outside of my deployment zone, so still getting my advance. 
Um, and yeah, so we're gonna have a bit of shooting and we'll do that literally straight for you now um, because why not? We'll do the Carnifex. I uh, see how many shots I get this time. Come on, Carnifex, Screamer Killer for the win. How many shots? Two. This has not been consistently good for these guys, but let's see what we can do. So fours, just the one, and then we need threes. Minus four, so you have a six up save because you're in cover. No, and that will be one dead because one had taken a wound. Yep. So we'll take that, and that's a little victory for us there. We have no other shooting because this Trigon Prime can't see anything. He did advance as well anyway. Um, so I will get advance at the end of my turn, and that will be it for me. We'll go into turn five for the Death Watch. What will they draw? Will it be enough? They will take... Well, we're going to a draw now. Because I've scored one there, Sean did score two points on his turn. Okay. So it will be a nine all as we go into, potentially, the very last turn of the game. So let's draw this live for you. What have you got, Sean? Come on. Let's see what we got. Okay. Big game, Hunter. That's tricky, but possible. You've got two options there, potentially. One option, in fact. Defend objective two. You're on that, but defend, it'll need to go to a next turn for you to be able to score that one. Defend objective six. And secure objective six. Which I'll is. defend objective six. So look, the big thing here is the game is gonna need to continue. If the game finishes, I think Sean's gonna struggle because big game hunter, mm -hmm. You need to have at least 10 wounds. So that means he needs to kill the Trigon. The Carn effects will not be enough. So he needs to kill the Trigon. Defend objective two and defend objective six, which are two that he can easily do, but he cannot do them until the end of the next turn. For it to go to a next turn, it needs to be in my turn six. So the game will need to continue to game six, to turn six for him to score these. If it doesn't, it will be a draw. Because currently, Sean is going to have Line Breaker. I am going to have Line Breaker. He's not currently going to be able to score any of these very easy. He could get some shots on the Trigon Prime. He is going to get these guys up here in range with some shots. That's going to happen. There's no doubt about that. I am going to take damage from him. But it's no multi-damage stuff. And I am quite high toughness, he has no stratagems, and he probably will be out of range of any Watchmasters for re-rolls. So he's probably going to have a hard time clearing this, this Trigon Prime. So it's probably going to come down to, can he get lucky on the Trigon, or can we go on to turn six? We'll come back at the end of the movement phase, find out what he does, but this is going to the wire. To recap movement for the Death Watch, um, Space Marines aren't really moving here with the heavy weapons. Um, I have managed to pull Defend Objective um, 6 as well as Defend Objective 2. So the Primaris Watch Captain will stay here and the Rhino will stay up there. The Death Watch Intercessor Squad number 2 has moved up and advanced. The Space Marines have moved up into the building hoping that if anything does poke its head around that corner on either side that we will get some shots in. The Aggressor here of this squad has moved around here. So we can get a few shots on the car and effects if he decides to sulk around the back here. Let's move into the shooting phase. I'm firing Death Watch Intercessors here down into the car effects. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to use... Um, <laughs> I'm going to use those vengeance rounds to put some wounds on. Um, zero wounds and health fire is not cool. So um, let's see what we get. And that is terrible. Is it fours? That is absolutely terrible. That's one of the worst rolls we've had all game. Uh, five and sixes? Uh, yes, five and sixes. Ooh. Roll that one again, yeah. Uh, and then re-roll ones. Yeah. Uh, nothing. There we go. So, learn my lesson. Should have rolled Hellfire. <laughs> Try harder this time, Sean. Try harder. Roll those dice already. Right. Um, aggressor, shooting into the current effects, hitting on threes, fours. fours. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not too bad. And then fives and sixes, re-rolling ones. Just due to mission tactics for the whole army. That's not bad. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four saves. Okay, so three ups. Take, take a wound. Three take wounds. Three wounds. And I get two, two more shots. two more shots. One hit. No, no wounds. But that's three wounds off him. It's 
not bad. I'm happy with that. That's better than what I expected. And that is the end of my turn. Debt watch and turn five. What it means is we're on nine victory points apiece. Now, if the game goes to the next turn, I've pulled defend objective two and objective six. So I'll have a swing of four points. That's huge. But... John, Big. roll the dice to see if the game goes on. Come on, one Being or two we're looking for. One or two, I'll you take want. the draw. I'll take the That's how nope. competitive. This is a friendly <laughs> game. A I want a draw. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. One or two, guys. Come on. Ah, oh, oh. the game goes on. And, I mean, we will play it on because you never know what happens. But I would say, probably with that roll, that should seal the deal for the Death Watch. It will certainly be a four-point swing to Sean going into the end of my turn. And then he would have another turn as well. So, not great at all. But let's see what happens. Let's draw some cards and see where we get on. He is held, or should I say drawn, by the Tyranids. Defend Objective 6. Defend Objective 5. And secure Objective 2. So, Defend Objective 6. That is the objective that I do keep pulling. Which is down by the Watchmaster on the far side there. A long way away from any Tyranid infestation. Secondly, defend objective five. So, secure objective five, sorry, defend objective five is there by the Rippers, but the game will need to continue. Actually, the game won't need to continue. That I could hold for two points. But then secure objective two I will be Again, held over here by the Rhino. So with that, guys, I really am just not going to be able to hold this down. And I do not have the cards that are going to give me the opportunity to pull back. So even scoring those two, I'll still be two points behind Darren. He will have he, um, behind Sean. He will have another turn. Yeah, it's just it's just not going to happen. So with that, we are going to call it. Um, so. Hopefully, um, you would have enjoyed this absolute epic encounter and you're loving the new Death Watch because I think they're a wicked army. Very, very cool. So, we'll find out what Sean's kind of thoughts on his new force are um, and what's to come for them. There we go. Yeah, so I was just saying, you know, um, impressive debut outing for the Death Watch. Yeah. We're, we're a few friends, um, but... Yeah, what do you think of the new army? Yeah, I'm I'm liking them. Yeah, they're they've fun, got, don't they? They've got a lot of tools in the boxes, and then if you have, let's say, maybe you, as we were saying, you got a lot of command points. Yeah, you know, you can really put some damage and hurt on. You seen what I did turn two and three? Yeah, and um, just wiped out the yeah. two current effects as old one eye. Yeah, um, and that's gonna care on yeah as well. Yeah, I yeah. like them. I think I think there's a lot to them. I, I'm building out a full deck with army. That would be really interesting. Um, Absolutely. Favorite unit of the game though wasn't wasn't Death Watch member. Can you take a guess and reckon who he was? Yeah, that I, I I can't say what I think of the guy because this is a family show. But <laughs> um, man alive, that little guy done some work for you, didn't he? Sicarius. Sicarius, yeah, oh. he done some work. He took out all one eye. Plasma did. pistol to the face of the <laughs> Dimmer care one. <laughs> the blue lord. Yes, he, yeah. I mean, the only thing I didn't take a single word. The only thing that slowed him down was there wasn't enough to kill for him anywhere in his this vicinity. Is, this is this is it. I mean, he was absolute. He was a beast. He, he was, do you know I run him most games, and he he rarely ever dies and, or doesn't. And I would say he's pretty rubbish. Would you? I would, but no. but not not for you. You've got not faith you. in the old man. <laughs> the old man performs for you. So yeah, I mean, here you go, hidden hidden star. Um, I mean, for me, I think the Broodlord. The Broodlord was a was a real beast. So, um, quick. so quick. He, I mean, he cleaned up a unit of Death Watch on his own, no trouble at all. Yeah. He then carried I on. I should have screened them because they have they've got the range. Yeah. So what I do, should have done was screen them with yeah. with, with the Ultramarines, but um, you know the rest the the, uh, the aggressors. How good were they? I love the aggressors. I love that little. That, just chucking an aggressor in each unit and then we talked about potentially you put two in there and and how how charges. scary no you don't i mean you, you took out like five gene stealers in the first round in in you know in overwatch when they had a five up five up yeah so i yeah i think they are the real deal really scary and they give you all those buffs as well to be able it's, to it's yeah, it's not the great. special ammunition it's the command points when you can yeah. put out the weight of fire yeah. and you can say right this unit here is going to wound yeah. 
Like I would actually be, I would, I would probably run three or four or five aggressors, and yeah. then use some of the relics, like the beacon, to pull them over mid table. Yeah. Just sit there, not and, and kind of shield them. Mm. I think they're the secret sauce. They're the secret sauce in those units. They really give me Plus a sting. Really, really tasty. Um, what about you? Yeah, I mean, so so the brood was 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 for me by far the star. Um, it was fun to bring Carnifexes out again. Look, even with a minus one, are they good enough in a competitive scene? Probably not. But I think you know in this kind of test. They, they did all right. They, I think the minus one is quite nice. It definitely made it harder work for you to try and get to them. Yeah. Um, old one eye again, nice to be able to be shielded by them and to give them those buffs. Yeah. But I think an interesting one is when we fired the Death Watch at the Carnifex without any of the, the command rerolls for two turns. Yeah. I haven't put any, I, I didn't put many wounds. Yeah. Like the aggressor put some wounds, but yeah. um, over here, when you've got those command points and you can throw them down, like yeah. it's devastating. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know that's that's ultimately it. But I I, I like I, I definitely will run Carnifexes again. Um, and it's fun to run the assault ones. I definitely rate the shooty ones over the assault ones. But the screamer killers are a lot of fun. And in a list like this that is real kind of aggressive, they they they're great. And if the list was a lot of fun to play. You know, mm. literally just storming that was into a good your game. turn one. It's one of the it, best it, games I played. It was it was a really year. good game. It was a really good game. It would have been even better if I won, but it would be it was a really, really good game. Um, but on that front, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps us absolutely it tons. And for all you new guys that have just started watching, we really appreciate your time. So thank you very much. Um, and loads more battle reports to come. If you haven't already, check out our um, playlist. We've got tons of battle reports on there. Loads of 8th edition. It's all 8th edition. That's pretty much when we've been around. So it's all 8th edition stuff. Don't forget the heresy. So, bit of heresy. A bit of heresy as well. We've, we've got lots Keep of stuff in there. So, you know, <laughs> so check out the other content and we'll be back with another battle report really soon. Yep. Have a good day, guys.